Come Away focuses on siblings Peter and Alice. When their eldest brother dies, they seek to save their parents from despair until they are forced to choose between home and imagination, setting the stage for their iconic journeys into Wonderland and Neverland. This is directed by Brenda Chapman, who directed DreamWorks' The Prince of Egypt in 1998, which is a great movie, as well as Pixar's Brave in 2012, which was good if one of the weaker Pixar entries. And this is her first venture into live-action territory, after years of working at both Disney and DreamWorks as part of their respective creative teams for many of their big hits. And it's the second adaptation of Peter Pan this year, after February's Wendy, which I really didn't like, mainly for how it failed to capture the magic that made Peter Pan such a great story. And this time, this reimagines him and Alice from Alice in Wonderland as siblings. Unfortunately, despite the fact that you have someone with such an extensive history working on these magical stories, this is actually a lot worse than Wendy. Whereas that film at least attempted to capture the energy of Peter Pan and it was just a misguided effort, this doesn't even attempt to bring any of that energy. And this isn't Chapman's fault that she didn't write the screenplay, but this was such a dreary, depressing movie. And I get that it's because these characters were trying to get over this tragedy, but it's a film that looks to beat you down as much as possible so that it can manipulate you into feeling bad for these characters without giving us anything that makes them compelling. David Oyelowo and Angelina Jolie play Peter Pan and Alice's parents, and they do an okay job, I guess. There's this storyline about how Oyelowo is in debt and he has this gambling addiction, plus he runs the Michael Caine briefly at one point, sporting this giant mustache, which was honestly the highlight of the movie for me. So there's that. But this movie otherwise never works because it tries to be this mix of Pan's Labyrinth as well as Tim Burton's remake of Alice in Wonderland, where it takes place in this grim reality and it's about the characters trying to escape the horrors of the real world. The problem is, all the magical elements feel like an afterthought. It's supposed to be this origin story for both these characters, but we barely ever see anything related to either Wonderland or Neverland, which wouldn't be too big of a deal if it weren't for the fact that we barely have a moment in this entire movie where these characters are meant to feel good for just one minute. They're mainly in the real world for all of this film. And most scenes actually have no point other than to show off how sad this family is and how sad they want you to feel. Not to say I don't sympathize with the fact that they had a death in the family, but it's that, along with the father's death, that are the only interesting elements about this family as a whole. There's no character development to any of them otherwise, not one thing interesting about them. It's just scene after scene of them crying, in despair, severely depressed, angry, or upset. And that's it. There's barely a plot otherwise. Some scenes felt like they're there for the sake of just having another sad moment. Even the tiny amount of scenes we get involving the magical elements, it doesn't feel like an actual escape, nor do they really seem like they're helping matters much. It's like the film's trying to force you to feel as down as these characters do. There's even a scene where one of the kids criticizes their dad because they want him to do better, and their mother slaps them because she doesn't want them talking bad about him whatsoever. So instead, we get subjected to even more scenes of everyone in hysterics immediately after. It's a film with no real purpose, no lessons to be learned, has nothing intriguing about its main characters, and doesn't want you to feel any sort of emotion besides the press, while doing little to legitimately earn our interest. All in all, it's a complete mess, and you won't have a good time with this whatsoever. Come Away gets a 1.5 out of 10. So, let me know, did you see Come Away, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did the story work for you, and are you more of a Peter Pan or Alice in Wonderland fan? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time.